And this rainy, cool weather probably has us all wanting some stew or some soup. And this weekend, you can get the Holtville Slap Out Fire Department's famous camp stew. Joining us in the studio are Jeff Roberts and Chief Charles Bromley. Thank you both so much for joining us. Thank you for having Thank you. us. What makes your stew so good and famous? Well, the man that cooks our stew for us has been doing this for 30 years. And he's perfected the recipe. So I've got him at the station now. Him and a crew working to get our ingredients together so we can start cooking probably around 4 o'clock this afternoon. And they are making a whole lot. Close to 120 to 140 gallons. Oh, wow. And you think you might sell out of that because it's well, that good. It is good. It'll be gone by 1130 tomorrow. So yeah. we'll start serving and selling it out the door at 11 o'clock or 8 o'clock. What's great, you can freeze that too. Yes, ma'am. Have it throughout the, throughout the winter. A absolutely. Even colder month, months as well. Jeff, talk about your role in this. This is more than just a camp stew sale. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be playing at 9 o'clock, I think 9 to a 1. And um, it's a great cause, and I want to get out there, and I'll have my backing tracks and stuff, too, so it'll be up tempo, you know, and, and I'm looking forward to it. What kind of music do you play? I love 80s and 90s country. I do a Me lot too. of that. But also grew up in the 70s, so I do a lot of the James Taylor and the, and the Tom Petty stuff. So folks are going to be dancing, they're going to be singing they're going along to be dancing, sure. with you. You also have some vendors out there. What will they be selling? We will. We, uh, our auxiliary has a craft fair going at the same time with the, in conjunction with the Camp Stew. There will be various items, jewelry, honey, all different types of handcraft type stuff. You have it all out there. Yes, ma'am. And this is an important fundraiser for the fire department. It is. Um, we use these funds to buy fuel, electricity, keep our truck maintenance going and the things that we absolutely have to have to protect our firefighters in the event we have to come to a scene, either motor vehicle accident, house fire, grass fire, whatever. How critical is this to what you do? It's major. It is major. Um, with the cost of stuff nowadays being what it is, you can't, you can't put a dollar tag on it. All right, give us the details. When and where is all this happening? It'll be at Hopeville Fire Department, 5615 Caesarville Road, there in Hopeville, Alabama. And it'd be from eight until whenever we sell the last quart. So you sell that camp stew by the quarts. Is there a limit to how much you can buy? No, ma'am. And Just it's ten dollars a quart. Ten dollars a quart. And Jeff, you take the stage again at what time? Nine o'clock. Bright and early. Nine o'clock. You're going to be playing for four hours. That's right. Though, so four hours. No problem. Good <laughs> time to check that out. If folks can't make it up tomorrow, what are some other ways that they can support you? Uh, they can mail in donations. Uh, we have a. We're usually there at the station every Tuesday night. They're welcome to drop in. We're always recruiting manpower. Um, it's one thing you don't get enough of in, in fire service is, is volunteer manpower. You need more support. We thank you both so much. Jeff, we're going to let you play us to break. Great. This is by Jamie Johnson. He's a local hero of this area. It's calling color. Grandpa, what's that picture here? It's black and white, it ain't real clear as that you, he said. I was 11. Times were tough back in 35. Me and Uncle Joe was trying to survive in a cotton farm in the Great Depression. And if it looked like we were scared to death Like a couple of kids just trying to save each other You should have seen it in color This one here was taken overseas In the middle of hell in 1943 in the wintertime can almost see my breath That was my tail gunner, old Johnny McGee He was a high school teacher from New Orleans And he had my back right there through the day we left 